I'm Drew Doyle with Play by Play Sports Broadcasting Camp's pregame show, and these are my hosts James Myers, Leon Jacobson, and we are covering the game with between the two and ten Jaguars going up against the five and seven lines. And the big story in this game is Aiden Hutchinson trying to prove that the Jaguars should have taken him with the number one pick. So what are your thoughts? And with eight sacks, this dude is going to get a statue in somewhere in Michigan. He played with the Wolverines, and now he's playing with the Lions? This dude is going to be a Michigan legend by the time he retires, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to regret not taking him with their number one overall pick. Yes, kind of Michigan... Hutchinson was for a long time projected to be the first overall pick, but just days before the draft, news started breaking about how Georgia's Trayvon Walker was going to be the was now going to be the favorite to be the number one pick. And now that Jacksonville did take Trayvon Walker instead of Hutchinson, and he has underperformed compared to Hutchinson to this point in the season, maybe the Jaguars are possibly regretting their decision, seeing as he has six sacks less than Hutchinson and. 20 less tackles for loss. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a pretty big difference between just one and two picks. Jaguars could be regretting their decision, but what about um, Trevor Lawrence? He has not been performing up to expectations this year. Well, you could, you could also give that to the fact that it's the Jaguars, but Doug Peterson, he was able to coach the Eagles and Carson Wentz of all quarterbacks to an MVP season. Granted, they were helped by Frank Wright, I think Carson, not Carson Wentz, sorry. Um, Trevor Lawrence is going to develop into a good quarterback. It's just the generational talent that they're calling this kid. He's not a generational talent yet. I think if he is going to become that generational talent, it's going to take a few more years than expected. Yeah, with only 17 touchdowns and nine picks this late in the season, what's going to happen to him? Well, I think that he will... He will develop further, and he will. And although he's not going to win the MVP this season, he will definitely be maybe one of the top ten quarterbacks in the league. Because if you think about it, coming out of Clemson for like two years before when he was still in college, it was like, oh, in the twin in the twenty twenty draft, he he was going to be the he was going to be the number one overall pick quarterback. Like, it was guaranteed for, like, years in his college days. But now that we've seen him play for a few years, it, it's kind of obvious that it's it's not that he's a bad player. He's just not the number one overall guy. Like, he's not John Elway. Like, John Elway had the same situation, but he actually performed to that number one overall expectation. But for Trevor Lawrence, like, he can still develop. But I think at a certain point when you have expectations to be – the best in the league and that's just for one that's just unrealistic expectations and for two if you don't perform to that standard then people look at you as a bust even if you are not a bad player and that is the situation that Trevor Lawrence is in right now yeah what are your guys thoughts on the score of this game is it going to be an upset for the Jaguars or a momentum builder with the Lions almost getting them to 500 I think, and this might be a bit of a hot take to the viewers out there, I think the Lions are going to blow out the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think Dan Campbell is that guy, and I think the Lions win 33-17. to I'm unfortunately going to have to disagree with you because I think, I think it doesn't matter to this point in the season. I think that Trevon Walker finally facing the Lions, and for Aiden, Hutchin, Aiden Hutchinson, I really think – that this is the Jaguars' time. They may have only won two games to this point in the season, but I think, but I think that the Jaguars need to prove themselves at least a little bit. And this is a great opportunity for them because this isn't the Packers, this isn't the Rams, this is the Lions. I think for the Jaguars, just needing wins to prove themselves, they're, they're going to see this matchup as a winnable matchup. And I think, considering that Trevor Lawrence will continue to do up, I think he's going to have a great game. So I think that the Jaguars are going to win 30-12. to 12. Wow. That is a hot wow. take. I think that the Lions are going to end up beating the Jaguars by a score of 23-17. to 17. Aiden Hutchinson comes out with three and a half sacks and five tackles for a loss. Can I, can I add on something to that? And I think as well, including that, Aiden Hutchinson will get a touchdown to prove to the Jacksonville Jaguars that you made a terrible. Terrible mistake at the draft. 
Yes, and that concludes our pregame show. I'm your host, Drew Doyle, and these are my co-hosts. James Myers. And Leon Jacobson.